Only two teams have ever won the Global Rugby Challenge and they face off today in quarterfinal number one. That means one of these two champions will be going home early. Will it be season one champions, the Court Flakers, or season two and three winners, the All Flakes? We find out tonight. Let's get down to the action. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby and the Global Rugby Challenge or the Subscriber Series, the series where you guys take the field against the world's elite and more often than not against each other just like today. It is the Flakers versus the All Flakes quarterfinal number one. A place in the semis is up for grabs against one of the top two place sides, the Jaguares and the Pacific Tower for the victor here tonight. The Flakers, of course, season one champions. They'll be looking to get back to those glory days as well. But one thing will be firmly in the back of their mind, and that is round 12, when the All Flakes defeated them during regular season. 24 points to 17. That was a big resurgence period of the All Flakes season. But as it turns out for the Flakers, they still finished the better of the two tight sides throughout the season. Finishing third on the table with an impressive eight win, three loss, and unfortunately in the last round, one draw season. That was really one of the low points of the year. The draw against the Guardians of the Crib will be something they'll want to forget. Heading into this match where it is must win, do or die rugby. Look at their starting lineup for tonight's matchup. It is unchanged from their draw against the Guardians. Surprisingly, no action taken against those players. So let's see how they line up. In the front row, Robin Peter, Peter Matthews, and Zaza Kukulska. Following that up in the second row, Chris Smith and Roy Filkins. Frederick Globe on the blind side, Francois Valentine on the open, and Colin Wilson, the impressive number eight, once again line up at the back of the pack. Renan Ankerhan will again be a spark in the back line with Tino Mahande wearing the number 10 jumper. Adrian Townsend and Captain Pierre Valentine will be in midfield with Prince Miles Williamson on the left wing. Luca Moscow on the right and Josh Walpole will be at 15 again for the Flakers. This is it. This is their last chance. Can they continue or will it be the All Flakes who take their place? And having a look at this All Flakes team, they've had a... Well, a very questionable season coming in as the two-time defending champions. They started off extremely poorly, losing a number of their first few matches and ending up with just a seven-win, five-loss record. They finished in sixth. That is the lowest place qualifier that you can get in the regular season. But like we talked about, they did defeat the Flakers back in round 12. They followed it up in round 13 with a very disappointing 42-28 loss to Leinster, but that still will be at the back of their minds as will that victory of the Flakers. Which mental side will the Sting take? We find out tonight. Look at this stunning lineup. Shady Streetwolf will wear one. Mike Hunt will come in at hooker, and Nicholas Freilander will captain the team once again from the tight head. In the second round, Max Parker and Akata Kamana will be the tall timber who do the set piece well. Mark Tommy wears six again, and Isaac Drew is unable to be moved from his seven. And at the back of the pack, James Sharp will again wear eight. Reese Edwards comes to the scrum half of your partner, Simon Coop, who the fans will be rejoicing to see his returning afro to the number 10 jumper. Mike Brigley and Christian DeCoca will be the midfield combination, with Liam Simons Wells coming back to his favourite left wing, and Christian Catley, the old firm, on the right. Zachariah Charlton will keep things tidy at the back for all the hope of all Flex fans, and that is their starting 15 for tonight's fixture. Champion on champion, but only one champion can go on. Flakers, all flakes, one goes home. Let's see who it is. The action about to kick off. Quarterfinal number one of the GRC Season 4. There is only two teams that can proudly wear their badge on the chest of their kits, and it's the two teams we are watching tonight. The Flakers kicking off. They're in the yellow. The all flakes in the black and white. We are underway, and it's a short kick from the Hyundai, and Hunt takes the ball down and gets immediately pressured by the Flakers' defence as they pile it in and turn the ball over. Here's Ankahan. Nicely slips away Matthews in the line as Moscow. Nicely tips around the corner. Chris Smith's got the left hand wing. Could be an early chance for them. Kukulska's going can high. And a big raging tackle from Reese Edwards. Up around the head of the hooker. Come the prop. Zaza Kukulska, he's a front row master. Oh, the big call. The miss of call. Pierre Valentine, he opts for the corner. Mahande delivers five outs. But why don't you take the three? This is knockout rugby. 
And the pressure now on Peter Matthews is immense to deliver this line out ball. Oh, he's failed. He's missed everyone completely. He's gone straight to Samu Cook. He's gone away to Edwards and he thumps it away. Well, that is a disaster. Absolute disaster for the Flakers. You've got to slow that down. You've got to take three. You're literally a minute or three into the game. You've got to put that down on the board. 3 0 it is. Go back to halfway. Start again with the lead. This time Matthews hits his man. It's Roy Filkins at the back. And Zaza Kokoska waits at the base of the ball. Now he runs away with it. Kokoska! What a run here from the prop! Just about to the 22. It's been all flakers so far. Williamson up in the line. Nicely away from Pila. Here's a chance nicely from Valentine. And here it is. Big ranging run from Frederick. Oh! And it'll be Pierre Valentine. And a big magic man. Prince Miles Williamson puts points on the board. Oh, the kick to the corner. May have just been justified. It was a big call. But that five points may be a big question mark. Should he go for the corner? Does he go for the sticks? Now he's got the try. I think Pia Valentine will be feeling much, much better about the call. Well, it's nicely played from Francois Valentine, Frederick Loeb. And then, of course, Pierre delivered the final pass to the finisher. Williamson under the sticks. That's how he rolls. An exquisite player right up there with the best this season in try scoring form. And the start that the Flakers, well, they would have dreamt of. Tino Mahande right in front. It's been all Flakers early. As the All-Flakes struggle to get into this game. It's seven points to nil. By no means are they out of it. The All-Flakes want to get a little bit of possession back on their side. Sam Cook, well, he touched it once and he had to flick it straight to his scrum half to get rid of it. Here he is, Cook. Going up high, just 13 minutes in. It's still a long way to play here. Kukulska, he has been heavily involved in tonight's matchup. But a big play here, the turnover. All Flakes steal the ball back. Kamana out to Coop. Wide ball for the Liam Sons Wells. Here's the Coca looking for support and space. Finds neither. Takes it to ground. Pick and go from Edwards. Hunts up on the line. Back by Max Parker. was been phenomenal leading up to this game. Just inside the 10 minute line. Streetwalker again. Martoni is monstered by Kukulska. Edwards running his. Takonka play work. He's gone on the outside to Wrigley. Wrigley looking for room. Oh, back inside to Takonka. And he goes five minutes short. Nice. Desperate defense from the flankers. Edwards. Back it goes to Wrigley. He's just grabbing it straight to the hands of Warpool. And that is a very, very tame end to a massive chance for the All Flakes. Mahande gets the ball away and finds touch as well. That was average at best from the All Flakes. But good coverage there from Josh Walpole at the back. Here's Hunter throw. Split line out. Oh, Parkhill. Magnificent again. Samar Coop. And running at them is Ike Wrigley. Michael Brown in a mark, Tommy. Oh, that is sensational work. Left side, left side Wells. To conquer again. Hakata Kamana will finish. Oh, that is world class. Sensational rugby from the All Flakes. I thought they may have bombed it just like the Flakers had earlier. But no, this was outstanding rugby. The gap that Mark Tommy was given, brilliant. And then the alive play, not letting the ball go down, keeping it in hands. Offloading game, Max Parkhill has to be up there for player of the season, definitely. Brilliant though, to Koka and outside to Arkada Kamana. He is a finisher. The big man, once again, getting another try. Hard to stop in tight situations. How much of a difference has this man made already? Boy, the fans have told it. Sam Cook, he's the reason the All Flakes are successful. When you're going well, find it hard to argue that point right now. He puts his team back in the game, 7-7. Seven, seven. This could be a try fest. Back for Mahande, who had the early game on a string. Now, it has changed significantly. Here's Ha 
front. Nice in the street walk. Oh, a park hill. Oh, no. You don't do that very easily to the big man, Max Parkhill. But Sasa Kukulska, well, he takes no prisoners. And surely this one, you've got to look at it and say maybe touch is the right call. And yeah, Nicholas Rhinelander, he's on the money yet again. Prestigious captain of the All Flags, Rhinelander. He has seen this team through thick and thin. He'll look to lead them to more glory. Hunt to throw into the lineouts. Five man option. It's stolen by Falcons. And kicked away instantly by Ankerhan. Straight down the throat though of Liam Simes Wells. Heads true. Goes back to the left side of Max Parker. Right at Liam Simes Wells. Oh, that's a poor pass though. Finding Street Walker. He's just bundled into touch. Should have hung on to that, Liam Simes Wells. Had a bit of a go. Had a bit of a run. And right on the smacking paint of halfway. Another line out will form Peter Matthews to throw. Oh, it's stolen by Kamala, knocked on! Burries Edwards. And that is a shame. Possession in this sort of area of the field is a poor one to give away. Parkhill dived on it, killed the plate. Find. Forcing the Flakers to hack down a scrum. Fair from Ankar. Oh, demolished by the All Flakes on the set piece. Battle is becoming a crucial part of the All Flakers. Hit back. It's gone five metres either way. And Ankar will have it. Mahande. Mahande. Straight through. Brilliant from Mahande. One of the great tries. The GRC. Solo. Brilliant. That is absolutely well passed. Top draw. You don't beat that. Well, he called the All Flakes try world class, but it's just been topped. We're only in the quarterfinals, scene, and this is one of the great GRC tries. Dummy through the first line, beat through the second. Charlton beaten, scrubbed off, Simon could know to be found. Tino Mahande, take a bow. Outstanding try. Simply brilliant. You've got to run out of superlatives for this. That is outstanding. How do you call that? There's been some standout fly halves in this competition throughout the years, but that, boy, it takes the cake all right. There goes half time, and Tino Mahande has just razzled and dazzled the fans as the Fakers take the lead into half time 14 points to 7. What's an exciting encounter this has been already. It's been close, it's been tight. Both sides have had their chances. Possession and territory very close. But overall, you've got to say the flake is just that spark, that brilliance from single players has changed this game. Both sides with three line breaks, both sides making discipline errors as well. But ultimately, the one thing that matters is that top line. And it reads Flake is 14, all flakes 7. Well, I am entertained. What does the second half deliver us? Let's find out. It's a deep kick from Sam Cooper. and takes down Pierre Valentine is crunched. Flake is retained though. Ankahan again gets his kick away. He's been very tidy in the territory battle. And it's working to do for Charlton. A long way to cover this. Close to the sideline. Oh, he's put it out. Charlton has made a disastrous call there. He should have left it. It was a brilliant kick from Ankerhan. And this cost his team a good portion of 60 metres now. Throw comes in. Filkins, brilliant. Here's Mahande. This side passes. Townsend on the inside line. Nicely from Peter. They switch around. Chris Smith. Load. Oh, Mahande. It's Pia Valentine. The finish is there for Luka Moscow. Deception at his absolute best from the Flakers. Inside, outside, upside, down. That is hard to stop. Well, it was a far cry from the amazing, brilliant skills of earlier, but this was just well worked. In the defence, it was cutting in, it was cutting out, it was struggling to maintain where this play was going. And the flankers have absolutely bamboozled them. Loeb, Smith, everyone involved, Valentine out wide, and it just left the defence in tatters. Where do they commit? That was what they couldn't do. 
and a sensational try from the Flakers. Nothing boring about this game, that's for sure. The neutrals must be absolutely flying right now with this quality of rugby. Mahunde puts over another two, it's 21-7. And his little moment of brilliance at the end of the first half has been the catalyst to a strong Flakers performance. They ended the first very well. They've started the second equally as well. And the pressure now falls on the All Flakes. Finishing sixth, it's Peter Matthews. Takes the ball down from the kickoff. The All Flakes battle hard for possession, but it will come back to the Flakers. Ankerhan. It's a little short side play. Now he puts a kick in again. Putting the pressure on at the back. And oh, and quickly is Hammond Williamson, I think, comes flying in. And he has smashed the ball. Comes to slot, straight to touch. I quickly. Oh, it was Prince Mars Williamson. Crouch. A punishing Fine. hit. And now a scrum to the Flakers. Sit. Looking to make a statement now. 21-7, all that matters is winning. Ankahan goes to Mahande. Look out if you dare. Townsend, away oh, to Moscow. Luka Moscow through the middle, but it's a good covering at the back. Chong takes him down. Chong turns it over. And now the All-Flakes can attack back. Parkhill out wide. Here's a run away from Mark Tommy. Oh, brilliant defence again. Prince Mars Williamson picks up the little flanker and deposits him over the sideline. Power and strength from Williamson on the left wing. Peter Matthews to throw again. Line out has been hugely contentious area of this game. Taken down well, and the All Flakes actually, speaking of, taken down well. They'll turn this over. Filkins put away there. Now his reset was just caught by a good tackle from Frederick Lowe. Here's Tommy again, looking for another go. Finds Street Walker wide to Coca. He's got a pass to Coca, he's got a pass. Breaks down, there's room on the left still. There's no one at the back. Here's Kamada. Scored the only try for the All Flakes. Sharp just pulls us away to Hunt, and he's thrown now. The little hooker up towards halfway wide for Kelly. And Christian Kelly will run. He'll have the pace, surely. No, he doesn't. But he finds the saviour in Samo Coop. And that'll be second try. All Flakes. Oh, we are in for a finish. Draws are never nice. And this one will not end in one. But it is looking like we may get a little bit extra. Josh Warple, he had Catley for pace and he pulled him down two metres short. But Catley did brilliantly. He kept the ball alive, finding Simon Coop in support. Look at this chase. Josh Warple, brilliant work. There's too many numbers in black there. Ike Grigley right there as well. Simon Coop grabs a try. And he will convert it as well. Just to the right of the uprights. Over a quarter of an hour left, still 17 minutes on the clock. And this one could go either way, 24-14, it's never a nice number. The All Flakes getting desperate. Another try converted, will tie it up. Do the Flakers look for a drop goal? Do they look for a penalty? Where do they go from here now? Team number Hyundai, back underway, he goes. And it's caught there by captain and leader, Nicholas Friedlander. Here's Reese Edwards, turns it back, Mark Tommy, right off road, and Simon Coop's in behind him again. Good defence, just pulls him down, short of halfway, oh, all flakes struggling with the ball, but they do hang on nicely. Edwards, picks himself again, it goes, oh, Sharp was half through, Hunt out wide, here's Catley once more, he doesn't have the same support, the sun, oh, and Walpole puts in a big hit, he knew there was going to be no inside ball, he fully committed. And hammered Catley into touch. Just outside the 22 now for Peter Matthews. We are nearing the final 10 minutes of this game. Oh, taken from Filkins. Just at the back of the kick. Straight from Ankerhan. Down to the 22. Charlton is there. Charlton running, dummying. Finds the Coco. Great ball to Isaac Drew. All flakes battle for possession again. Hunt waits. To the left. Open side, Parkhill, right off for the Streetwalker. And again to Samuel Coop. 
Park Hill right there. Strong man winning the ruck ball straight away. Edwards to the left. They go. Sharp. Oh, that is a great read there. Luca Moscow taking out Liam Symes Wells. There was numbers everywhere as well as the Flankers fight for the ball and a turnover and a forward pass. Oh no, Mahande! He nailed the job goal, but the referee calls it back for a forward pass. I can't believe it. He nailed it. It was a three pointer to put them in the semis. It's been called back with four and a half to play. Do not leave your seats. Great scrum from the All Flakes. Sharp has it in the back. Edwards to Coker. Here it is, Catley. Catley touch on the corner. To Coker on the upper field now. He's taken down. Great defense. Numbers are there on the right. Edwards. Oh, what a line! I quickly. He's got Catley. He won't need him. I quickly with a minute to play. Trial flags. I don't believe it. This is only the quarter final. And we're already having some absolutely phenomenal rugby. 19-21, Oak Wrigley at pace. And you just can't teach talent like that. Another twist, another turn in the GRC. These games just don't get any easier. There's never a clear winner. Rugby at world-class level. Sam Coop. Oh, we talked about how important he may be. And now he's got a conversion. That could tie it up. There goes full-time. Sam Coop makes no mistake about it. Oh, he is so cool. So cool is Coop. 21-21. You know what's going to happen now? A draw is called. And the two teams gather up for extra time. Well, buckle yourselves in. Tino Mahande gets us underway. We're going into extra time. The second down from Tommy. And the All Flakes will have first use of the football. Edwards, he's kicked. That's a surprising tactic. It's dig down. Josh Walpole, he's had a decent game. Luka Moscow there as well. Oh, great support to Moscow. Here's Valentine. Pops it back. Kokolska's taken hard. And that is a legal tackle. Oh, it's a yellow card. Stray Walker will go to the bin. That could spell disaster for the All Flakes. The back-to-back -back defending champions may well see their season and their championship going right now. Mahande kicks long. Ten in the bin for Streetwalker. No loose head prop. Well, this is going to be a telling time right now. Matthews throws. Chris Smith at the front gets it just in front of Max Barkill. Peter goes through with a run. Moscow changes directions. Akahan, nice ball to Peter Matthews. He offloads as well. Chris Smith again in the action. Right in the thick of it. All flakes compete. Ankerhan. He goes alone. Great little inside pop ball there. And it's by Hartina Mahande. Almost breaks away. Here's Kokoska. The big prop again. Making a strong run towards the 22. Please. Friday in the zero support. Now towards the 22. Townsend. Back inside. Nicely to Valentine. Oh, here's Moscow. He's knocked it on. He's knocked it on. And the All Flakes may well survive. Advantage on their side. Will they run? Surely they'll have to run. They get an Isaac Drew. Oh, no. Look out. Liam Sines Wells is there. Gets it to Tommy instead. Back to Hunt. Mike Hunt could be the saviour. Great tackle. Chasing him down there. Brilliantly. Chris Smith. Friedlander. Yellow card room is still against the All Flakes. No loose head prop. But they're doing very nicely at the moment. Friedlander. Nicely out. Mark Tommy. Round the corner. Commander. They're broken. They're shattered. The All Flakes could win it now. But they won't. The Coke is shut down. Numbers come slowly. The Flakers. They're desperate. The defence is broken. It's there for Sharp. It's a high tackle. It's a penalty. It's a yellow card. Josh Walpole goes to the bin, and we could see 14 on 15 being the winner because now it is 14 on 15 back the other way. What are they doing? 
You've got to take the three! What have they done? The All Flakes have just thrown it away! They've thrown it away! You've got to take the three! You've just got to take the three! Frightening has had a mere. He's just lost his marbles! 21-21, second half of extra time starts. And it's Frederick Globe, he's gonna lose this. All flakes are all over it, there we go. He's back to Simon Coop. Simon Coop, no, he's gone high. Crossfield bomb, let's say some Catley is not good enough. Why not go for a drop goal? Rob Peel has picked it up. This rugby is just out of this world. Mahunde taps. He's going to kick it straight down the throat of Liam Science Wells. He loves this. He runs Science Wells. Cuts it back to Wrigley. Jump goal! Wrigley! Over! Well, how composed is I Wrigley? Gives it a little fist pump and says, Yeah, I got that in my locker. That could be it. That will be. Well, it's no. We're just seeing Walpole coming back on the field. It's not Golden Point. We've got to play the full fixture. Well, but you didn't expect extra time on this one, did you? I sure as hell didn't. Underway we go again. Mahande goes to Drew. This could still change. It's turned over. Up in the line. Townsend now. Walpole out wide. Walpole charging. Black jerseys there. They don't see the ball on this side. Ankahan. The drop goal won't do it, but a try might. And here's a run away from Francois Valentine. Tries to send the fullback. Numbers are there! Chris Smith! Have you seen it before? And it's going to be a try to the Flakers. 26 24. Hold on to your hats. This one is going the full distance, plus two more. Francois Valentine doing well. Look at this. Offloading. Brilliant in Moscow. Chris Smith. Running away from Streetwalker, back on the field, and we've got a game on our hands. And it's now the Flakers who lead, and this is just out of this world. It is just the quarterfinal. We're not even in the semis or the final yet. And we are having an absolute ding dong battle like this. Tino Mahande, he needs this. He'll force the All Flakes to have to score a try. How's the time looking? Four minutes to play. Mahande nails it. Okay. 28-24. Ankebrot a try. Will be enough. Hold on to your seats. Don't not go anywhere. Hold on to your voice as well. This one could get a little bit wild. Sam Cook. Underway he goes again. Fielded nicely. From the blind side flanker, Frederick Lowe. Mahande, the way to Peter Matthews. A bit of room out here for Kukulski. Pops it back to the try scorer, Chris Smith. And they're just short of halfway. Looking to run down the clock. No, they go to Mahande. And this will run down the clock, very much so. It is in touch. Oh no, it's a terrible call from the assistant referee. In touch from Charlton. And that could be all she wrote. Peter Matthews will get the throw. The line has been shaky from the Flakers, but this time it's perfect. Back to Mahunde, a drop goal to make it seven. The difference is over and it's all over. That'll be it. Double death for the All Flakes. And the Flakers will make their way to the semi final. Topsy turvy, end to end. We've seen it all. But it will be the back-to-back -back defending champions who go home and season one winners, the Flakers, who go on to the semi-finals. Well, it has been a season to forget for the All Flakes. Sixth place overall on the table and now a quarter-final finish for them. Four tries to three, Smith for Hyundai, Williamson of Moscow, all grabbing one, Mahande with four conversions and a drop goal for the All Flakes. Kamana, Coop and Wrigley, almost the saviour with Samra Coop. Ike Wrigley's drop goal just about proved to be the difference. What a game, what a phenomenal matchup. Everything was tight, possession, territory, everything was close. But in the end, the Flakers had enough of the tank to get the result. 
in the second period of extra time. It's only the quarterfinals, and already that has been just phenomenal rugby. And there you have it. Quarterfinal number one is all over. That is, I, I can't explain that match. It is just ridiculous. The All Flakes were gone. They're dead and buried. Was it 21 7 at one point? They stormed back to 21 all. Extra time, they took the lead. Then the Flakers scored a try. They put salt in the wound with the drop goal late on. But what an unbelievable fixture! The All Flakes, an average season, has come to a close for them. They are out. And it will be now the Flakers who go on. You can see there at the bottom, they will take on the Pacific Tower. That meeting was just out of this world as well. It was the Flakers who won that round 11, remember, it was 20 points to 17. Close. And you know this one will be as well. And you know the Toa will be confident they can turn their results around though. Before we get to that, it will be the Dragons versus the Guardians. That will see the winner go on to face the Hagwares in semi-final number one. So for those two sides, a big, big match for them as this is really, what, fourth versus fifth. So on form, we've seen the Flakers go through from third. They could have finished second. That's how their season has been much better during the regular season and how they've come good when it really matters. Their season goes on, but one of the champion teams is out. There will be no three-peat for the All Flakes. Their season has come to a close. Let's have a look at what we've got looking forward to look forward to next episode. And that is it right there. Quarterfinal number two, Dragons, Guardians. Dragons at home, that may count for something for them. But boy, oh boy, if it's anything like today's matchup, it is going to be, well, worth seeing. That is for sure. Running out of superlatives for these games. They are just out of this world. Brilliant rugby, brilliant games, exciting. And you just can't beat it. The GRC at its very best. I'll see you all for quarterfinal number two. Congratulations to the Flakers players. Commiserations to the All Flakes. We'll see them, though, next season in season five. For now, though. The Flakers go on. Until the next match, quarterfinal two. I'll see you for it, but until then, take care.